Welcome to the Security Speakeasy Show, where we talk all things network security. Today, we'll cover a topic that's unique to Palo Alto Networks, single pass architecture. I'm Sam from the marketing team at Palo Alto Networks. We've invited Craig back to Security Speakeasy to talk about single pass architecture. Craig, thanks for coming back. Thanks for having me back. For anyone who hasn't watched the first episode, Craig is a technical marketing engineer on the Palo Alto Networks Next Generation Firewall team. Let's dive into today's topic. Craig, what is single pass architecture? So single pass architecture is sort of the core of PanOS or, or the operating system that runs on our firewalls. It allows us to do all of our inspections basically um, by only looking at a given packet one time. So why did we create a single pass architecture and what problems does it solve? So it solves two main problems. <clears throat> we were in a situation where we wanted to apply a bunch of different inspections to traffic. And by inspections, I mean, we wanted to make sure that uh, URL filtering was done, for example, or antivirus screening was done, <clears throat> data filtering, make sure that we're not leaking sensitive information. And all of these inspections take processing power, right? Um, if I'm gonna take a look at a packet, I need to check it for each one of these things. So single pass architecture was created so that we could do all of these checks one time, rather than doing it in serial and eating up a bunch of resources and introducing latency. The other big thing that it solves is complexity. So speaking of latency and traffic inspection, how would or how does single pass architecture impact performance? Absolutely. So kind of like how I mentioned before, if, if you wanted to apply all of these inspections, uh, the traditional approach was to have separate appliances that did this, these different functions, right? You'd have a box that did gateway antivirus. You would have a box that did URL filter. You would have one for DLP to make sure that you're not linking social security numbers or credit card. Uh, data, right, through your, your traffic. So what single pass architecture does is rather than having to pass your traffic through each one of these appliances and route it through your network multiple times, single pass architecture can check for all of these things at once. Um, this gives us a couple of advantages. One, <clears throat> you don't have to set up and configure multiple appliances to do those things. And the second thing is, that you don't, we don't incur additional performance cost when you turn on additional protections. So for example, with a traditional um, firewall, even what we call like the unified threat management approach where all of these functions are in a single box, um, each time you turn on a new protection, you lose capability. And by capability, I mean throughput, right? Um, you reduce the amount of traffic that the firewall can handle. With Palo Alto Networks and single pass architecture, it's <clears> that <throat> you don't incur performance penalty um, for turning on additional protections. That's awesome. Um, and how does single pass architecture reduce network complexity? So it's very much related to, uh, to the last example. Um, mm -hmm. There's a number of benefits. So not having to install and maintain multiple, multiple appliances to you know, accomplish the same thing, not having to train your personnel on different vendors, not having to wire your network or configure your network to route traffic through multiple things, all reduce the complexity of the network, which means that you can see a cost savings both operationally um, in terms of you know, running your network and administering your network, uh, just as well as your upfront costs. You, know, you buy one firewall rather than five or six different appliances. And all of those are key benefits to the business. So Absolutely. that's really valuable. Um, let's pivot a bit. Um, so the architecture goes beyond just physical firewalls. Um, can you speak a little bit about how it comes into play in other firewall form factors? Absolutely. So single pass architecture is a core part of PanOS, regardless of form factor. So it doesn't matter if your business is primarily, you know, on premise, like a, a brick storefront type situation, or if you're a cloud first company or some mix of the two. Um, if you're running a PanOS device, which means hardware firewall, VM, containerized firewall, all of these take advantage of that single pass architecture. So you can realize those complexity and performance benefits no matter what. Nice. I can't think of any organization that wouldn't want to take advantage of those benefits. Thanks, Greg, for coming back to Security Speakeasy to talk to us about single pass architecture. And thanks everyone for watching. If you enjoyed the show, hit the like button, 
leave a comment, subscribe, and visit us at paloaltonetworks.com. See you in the next episode. Thank you.